Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. It's a curriculum imported from Europe where we have one, two, and three-day courses where you'll get to experience virtually the whole line of AMG vehicles provided for you. World-class driving instructors at some of the greatest racetracks in North America. Hi, I'm Tommy Kendall, four-time Trans Am champ and host of Test Drive on Speed Channel. Welcome to the AMG Driving Academy. I hope you enjoy these short films that take you through a little bit of the curriculum that we teach at the Academy. In this episode, we're gonna cover the three stages of the Electronic Stability Program. We're gonna do what every uh, reasonably thoughtful driver would do, and that is when we're asking ourselves to drive at 100%, which we're about to do, to build up to it, to walk before we run. So we need to uh, take the option that's at our disposal, which is a three-phase traction control system by AMG. And for those of us not familiar, ESP stands for Electronic Stability Program. Each phase adding a little bit more computer intervention as the car assumes different angles or degree of slides, if you will. Our first run is gonna be in our first traction control mode. And basically what it's gonna do is gonna not allow the car to break that much traction. Once it gets to a certain yaw, after just a few degrees, the computer will kick in and say, that's enough sliding. As we build up the pace here, I'm gonna try to slide the car down here at turn three. Basically, no matter what I try to do, it's gonna make it real difficult for this car to slide. So each mode takes a little bit more of the, uh, the beast within underneath the hood and gives it to the driver. And at the same time, adds a lot more responsibility. What we're gonna do now is go to our second uh, stability mode, which is sport mode. It allows the driver to push the pedals harder, but at the same point, the computer will not intervene until the yaw angle is substantially greater. So a little bit of rotation, not gonna happen. So you can get a little bit of rotation from the rear end, but as soon as that rear end feels that the car's slipping, it's gonna add a little bit of that stability program. Can't say it enough, your margin for error goes way up as soon as you start disabling a stability program. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna completely disable our stability program, which will 100% take away our traction control. So basically, the amount of energy I'm giving that long skinny pedal, that's the amount of tires that I'm gonna light up in the rear end, i.e. you're gonna get a lot of tire smoke, which is a ton of fun. And I'm gonna go in and initiate a slide in second gear. What you're doing when you're drifting is you're driving past the envelope of the car's traction and the tire's traction, trying to maintain control and then bringing it back. All cars are not created equally by any means. You'll hear it from not only me, but many other people that this car literally talks to the driver. There's very little disconnect between driver and platform, which makes it very comfortable. As if you didn't know, all the content is filmed on a closed course by professional drivers. Do not try this on public roads. Always wear your seatbelt and drive responsibly.